क्वेश्चन नंबर 131 अ पॉपुलेशन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स ग्रोइंग इन अ हैबिटेट विद लिमिटेड रिसोर्सेस फर्स्ट ऑप्शन शोस एक्सपोनेंशियल ग्रोथ सेकंड डज नॉट शो एनी कंपटीशन बिटवीन इंडिविजुअल्स थर्ड शोस एसिम्पटोट व्हेन पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी रीचेस कैरिंग कैपेसिटी फोर्थ इज डिस्क्राइब्ड बाय इक्वेशन n t is equal to n not e रेस टू द पावर r t so a population of organisms growing in a habitat with limited resources means it's a logistic growth showing population not the exponential growth it does not show any competition between individuals definitely there will be competition because resources are limited is described by equation nt is equal to n not e raised to the power rt no it shows the exponential growth population and the third one is shows asymptote when population density reaches carrying capacity it is true so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question question number 132 phosphorus cycle differs from carbon cycle as the former first option has volcanic activity as the additional source second does not have role of decomposing bacteria and mineral recycling third has much smaller inputs through rainfall for this significantly affected by deforestation and burning of fossil fuels phosphorus cycle is the sedimentary cycle and carbon cycle is the gaseous cycle phosphorus cycle has much smaller inputs through rainfall so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question question number 133 ecosystem which can have both spindle shaped or inverted pyramid of number is first option pond ecosystem second tree ecosystem third grassland ecosystem fourth desert ecosystem in case of pond and grassland ecosystem the pyramid of number is upright in case of tree ecosystem you can see both the spindle shaped as well as inverted pyramid of number so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 Let's move to the next question. Question number one hundred and thirty-four. Biodiversity hotspots. First option have low degree of endemism. Second were initially twenty-five in number. Third can be exemplified by Khasi and Chanta Hills in Madhya Pradesh. Fourth are exit to conservation strategies for organisms. Initially in the world, the hotspots were initially twenty-five in number, but now they have increased up to thirty-four. They show high degree of endemism, so this is wrong. They cannot be exemplified by Khasi and Jaintha Hills. Option number three is also wrong. Are ex situ conservation strategies no in situ? So this is also wrong. So the correct option for the given question is option number two. Let's move to the next question. Question number one hundred and thirty-five. Which greenhouse gas from the following has highest contribution to the total global warming? First option CO two, second CH four, third CFCs, fourth N two O. To the global warming, the greenhouse gas which contributes maximum is the co2 or the carbon dioxide so the correct option for the given question is option number 1 i hope you have understood all the questions very well all the best for your next aits till then take care